Chris McGrist was a great novelist who was revered for original writing, but he had fallen behind on a big deadline. No worry, he just had to get scribing. He opens the rhyme with... Once upon a time... Should it be a dark and stormy night? The prince had come to reclaim the kingdom and restore his rightful birthright. Along his adventures, he met a blizzard <laughs> wizard and a bumbling bug circus troop. The ensemble was complete with a bird creature and requested along as a group. Hardly the brilliance he was usually used to, this story was a serious eyesore. His ideas disappeared. Well, this was quite weird. Words had never failed him before. This is not right. It doesn't make sense. It lacks development, uniqueness, suspense. I must get creative, but ideas are too few. I should find something more engaging to do. But try as Chris might, his bulb wouldn't light, and he was growing quite pessimistic. Well, there's one more guy that you could try. He's an expert on all things artistic. Chris snatched that piece of nice advice and set forth on an epic quest to explore and look for the great mentor and have his block addressed. I'm Chris McGrist, the great novelist. I'm in a bit of a bind. I have no tale to tell and no story to sell. Do you help me if you don't mind? Just forget about writing your three or five acts. Your stresses will just cramp your styling. Break up the tediums, use different mediums, express yourself in more ways than just writing. Chris was confused. What should I do? Well, it's not that hard. Don't be so dumb. Take this paper and pen and write in the margins for your thoughts and your story. The night passed on a flurry of thought. In the morning, he was completely diminished. With a few moments to spare, Chris sprung from his chair. At last, he was finally finished. Singing a ditty, he drove to the city. He was elated, excited, not cautious. He recklessly rode through jam-packed roads and he barged into his boss's office. I've seen a lot of great writers, and I'm truly impressed with you, Chris. But with this story, I find I have one question in mind. <laughs> what the f is this?